Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. Woo! Nova. Happy Wednesday, guys. Welcome to the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Oh, Thank you, Fitz. You guys Mate. had to listen back to the podcast. Are you listening yourself? Freeze! Everybody on the ground! I'm taking the law into my own hands. Oh, I didn't know wow. what you were doing. Yeah, I've I thought always... you were talking about whether we listen to the podcast. No, or not. I've always wanted to do that. Just kick in a door and get into a drug dealer's house and say, freeze everyone yeah. on the ground. Oh, it is quite fun because I've done one of those cop shows once upon a time oh, yes. and you do like the gun training and what stuff. Was that and you've called, got to like. Kate? Um, oh. I don't want to tell you in case you Google it. That's right. I remember <laughs> that. And right. Pops LAC, I had a Glock and That's, everything. Yes. Oh, yeah, did running in heels. Did you get in a door or did you get into a fight? I don't think I ever kicked in a door. Yeah. Wasn't no there fights? a show where you are on a boat? Like an, a, a naval ship? No, that um, was... You did a TV drama? Home and Away. No. no. Alf's Did you have to... Like hang- sea Patrol. Sea Patrol. Lisa McCune. Oh, this is yes. Oh, yeah. so... Yeah. Just the gold logies that... Oh, the gold you. logies, yeah. Because <laughs> Cops LAC... Yes. Um, One series. That, that's, I heard that you brought your own handcuffs. That you, They didn't need... Yeah, you they had, had some... to take the fluffy <laughs> bit off them. That's pretty full on. I missed that scene. I'd like that one. I did have a pair of fluffy... Oh, I shouldn't even... Did you really? I did once upon a time, and you know who bought them for me? Who? Isla Fisher. Oh, did she? Yeah, they were lime green. Naughty. And, and you kept them? I think I've still got them Did somewhere. she use them on Sasha, or do you know? I don't, or, like, oh. You know, I've only just started. If Let you, me save some stories. If you were to pass them to another celebrity, who would it be? Oh. Ray Ma? For... Yeah, who, who would... Who would use them, do you think? Who? MDG. Oh, oh no, I yeah. said celebrity. <laughs> MVP. And I wouldn't want them back. No, you wouldn't. <laughs> In fact, you'd, they'd come with an instruction to burn oh, them. Yuck. Sterilise. Oh, no. Um, so, yeah, have you taken the law into your own hands? Kate's got a great story. You'll hear it in the podcast. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. On Nova. Kate, I don't know if you picked up, but I'm not a big fashionista. You know, I'm not into that. What are the... you talking oh. about, Fitz? Look oh. at you. I'm not into hat. The, You know, I've got a hat on today and a pair of shorts, cut-off shorts, and, you know, I don't really get into my brands too much. No, but you wear a T-shirt like nobody's business. Is that a designer console? I remember <laughs> when I was younger, teenage years, I did buy a Jag T-shirt. Jag. I, oh, yeah, probably, Jag, and the A was like a triangle. Yeah, and that was probably the biggest brand I've ever bought. A Jag t-shirt. I'm an Adidas man. I like my Nike shoes. I'm into my trainers a little bit, but these big fashion brands, I've never really got into them. Okay. What was the t-shirt uh, you were wearing last week? The, uh, the Midnight C-A- Oil? C-A-R-H... Double A R Carhartt. They're good Carhartt. T-shirts. Yeah. Yes. Carhartt jackets. Is that a, like a skate brand, or is it I just think a? So yeah, it is. Yeah, I think they do get into it. They just fit, you know what I mean, and they're quite cheap. So I don't mind it. Um, <laughs> so there's, that's Fitzy. That's my day <laughs> on a plate. My fashion day fashion on a plate. On a plate. Oh, I love thanks that. Thanks for sharing yeah. with us. Thanks a lot, guys. What I do um, struggle with is some of the names of these major brands, and apparently we've been getting them all wrong. But hey, do you know of a, a designer? She's a Danish-born designer, um, and, okay, her first name is A-N-I-N-E. So it looks like A-9. And Well, I would say Anine, but I don't think it is that. Well, it's not. Everyone's been getting it wrong. Everyone's been saying Anine Bing. Her name is Anina, and she just wants to tell everyone, my name is Anina. Please call me Anina. She's Danish heritage, Swedish childhood, LA home base. I mean, that's fashion to me. Anina yeah. Bing. You've been around the world. Anina Bing. Okay. Yeah. You, about- you'd know, you would know, that, uh, especially the T-shirts, they're everywhere. Yes. She did a great cat's eye, like yeah, sunglasses, right. yeah. and all the T-shirts that look a bit like band T-shirts, like a gun. And Roses t shirt. Oh, great. Yeah, vintage. Her brand on it. Gunners. So she says, I love Kate Moss, Jane Birkin, and the Rolling Stones. That really sums up Anina Bing. And you know yeah. what? For as long as I've known her, <laughs> I'd agree with her on that one. Um, so true, mate. What I want to do, though, is go through some of these international brands just okay. to see if you guys pronounce it right. Okay. Oh, but this is embarrassing. Kate's obviously got a, a, a run up here. No, but not really, because I don't say things out loud. I just either look at them on the internet or put them on the counter. Well, we, you can help as well, because oh, I mean, mate, you I love have it. to buy yeah. some of these brands as well. For myself. Yeah. Um, here we go. We're going to kick off the first one. I'm holding up the first one there. How would you pronounce that? Oh, Izzy yeah, Miyake. Izzy Miyake. Yeah, okay, now you say Izzy, Izzy, Izzy Miyake, Izzy Miyake, and do you, everyone? Do you know why I know Izzy Miyake? Is because yeah. I wore the classic 
um, Cologne yeah. is in Miyake in the yeah, 90s. Yeah, it was I my mum or phrase 2000s. Was, it was beautiful, wasn't it? Well, I think you're getting that wrong. Have a listen to the pronunciation. Easy Miyake. It's no. more e- easy Miyake. It's more easy. It's oh, more easy. Take it easy. That's why I'm easy. easy. Take Miyake. Easy Miyake. Easy Miyake. This one, this one stumps me because I live in Balmain. I live in Balmain. I live in Balmain. Balmain. But how do you... Balmain. Okay. Oh, what is so? What are you going with? Balmain. Kate? Balmain. You're going with Balmain. Let's have a listen. Balmain. We... Balmain. Yeah. Balmain Fashion House. Whipper's got it right. Well, so that you, you, of it's course it's a does. silent N. It's, it's a, a silent N. Yeah, it's a fr- it's French for <laughs> nice suburb near passenger <laughs> passenger boat no, terminal. It's French for inner west. But is it? I mean, I know there's a, a way you can pronounce it, but still say it in. You know, Sydney or Australia, That's and the, still, uh, 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 you know, things. It, Deutschland uh, and Germany. It's, it's like champagne, or what? Do you say Moe or Moet, or yeah. do you say it the way they say it, where it's from, yeah. or the Australian version of it? I, this question. is the thing, though, Kate. You've got to get yourself ready for when you go over to Europe because you're going to look like a real fool if you're rocking up. Oh, and that's and not what I'm Balmain. worried about. What everyone's thinking. Mm. This is the thing. He, okay, here's another one that everyone knows. Only four letters. How do you pronounce that? Well, I want to say Zara. Zara. Don't we all say Zara? Zara. Everyone it feels says like it's tricky. You're going to tell me it's Zara? It's Zara. 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 It's Zara. Yeah, but that's an this accent guy. thing. So that's li- not... Can we listen again? Zara. He's got a list. Zara. Th- uh, no, it's, it's like Zara. 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 It's not spelled T-H-A-R-A. I think it's Zara. Here's a big one Give for me you. Give me a break. Let's see if you know your Christian. Uh-huh. How do you... Christian? Le Beton. No, don't, no. No, do you it, can't do it. No, you can't do it. It's not about doing it with the accent. Christian Le Beton. It's like if you're going into the shop at Westfields yeah. or wherever you want to go and you say... You've asked me to go first. <laughs> Christian. Because I have a feeling you've bought more pairs than I have. Christian Le Beton. I say I would say Christian Louboutin because I'm normal. Okay, now listen. This is I mean this is a tough one because you got to listen very carefully here. In French, we would say Christian Louboutin. Christian Louboutin. Do not say Christian, but rather Christian or Christian. Christian Louboutin. Christian sounded a bit Asian towards the end. Um, oh, Tommy, do you reckon you can correct? Could you save also a grab of Kate saying, but I'm normal. I'm normal. <laughs> Pop that Put in. that into a promo, please. Yeah. Last one. Um, now, this is D- it's D-I-O-R. That's your first Dior. one. Dior. Man, that'd make him like now, this, this anymore. Is the, this is the men version. Well, now, so, I, now I'm the, trying to put an accent it's, on. It's very similar to, uh, to Homus, isn't it, really, which is H-O-M-E. How do you pronounce that? Did you say H or H? He says H. H. Just let oh, it go. Oh, no. H. H. Um, Dior Homme. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Do that. That was great. Quite... you are normal. Oh, that was that really... like the ASD, yeah. DMR Actually or something? Actually got me got quite excited. Do that oh, again, Kate. do it again, Fitzy. Um, Dior Homme. <laughs> I'm just going to pour a single malt and <laughs> have a cigarette. Did you have a strike at the end of that? <laughs> um, <laughs> I would say Dior Hombre. Oh, let's oh. have a listen. Oh, Dior Homme. Om. Dior Om Fragrance. Om. Yeah, om. There's no. Om. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. So there's a little. Yeah, who would have thought? You didn't even get you to. You were teaching us. You didn't even get to Hermes. 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 Oh, is it? <laughs> hey, what a, about you've this? You've got a real severe case of Hermes at the moment. Isn't there a brand called Acne? <laughs> yeah. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Well, that's what I say. He's Acne. The, no, just one more. Actually, I'd love to know what's AJE. How do you pronounce oh, that? Oh, I don't know. Is it... I, I don't know age. if it's... Arj or Arj. Arj. Or, or, yeah, he's an Aussie I, I designer. I guess if you're here, he's you just say player. age. He's killing it. What? Yeah. I've met him a few times and I never oh, know what have, to call him. Here we go. <laughs> I go, A-G. 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 A-G-E. 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 For holiday accommodation more comfy than your cozies, jump on the What If app. With hotels, holiday rentals, holiday parks and more, find the perfect fit for holiday you. Book your getaway on the What If app. What If? It's Aussie for travel. You need to speak to Whipper about touching me before the beginning Uh, of every break. There's nothing wrong with saying good luck, champ.
And is that uh, what it is? It's a, it's a tap of encouragement. And oh, also, I believe in you. We've just been doing hypotheticals with Kate in between the oh. songs, and Kate's getting a bit over it. No, already. Even it's the fact two that and a half weeks in. Do you think we should do the first, uh, Have you done one before now? Do you think we should be doing them on air? No. Oh, that could be so fun. True. We tried that when we first started the show. I think they lasted a month, Tom, and they were gone. Yeah, not enough. What was the hypothetical you gave to Kate just then? Oh, um, yeah, okay, I'll tell you. Yeah. Um, if you were 25, I said, what do you mean? Oh, okay, I'm not 25. Um, if you were 25, would, and you had a choice, and the genie arrived, so I'm imagining the genie. Yeah, okay. Would you decide to be a 10 out of 10 supermodel. hot girl? Supermodel. What? Supermodel. Yeah. Or in the top 2% of intelligence within the country or the world? World. Oh, my gosh. Like, Where think like, you okay. chose the looks? I did. <laughs> really weird. Because I've got them, Dal. <laughs> really I mean, weird. look at me. Really six, weird six that you said. Puffy right. eyes and Do you 44. Know what? I'll take the six foot two. <laughs> it actually brings me so much satisfaction that you are here because now you get to hear all that crap oh, and I can move thank on. Thank you. I've just made your life easier. To- Tommy, and I, Tommy and I can run away with each other somewhere Guys, I'm here. I can still hear all this. Yes, please. I know. I was hoping you'd be off today with that croaky voice of yours. Anyway, good to see you. Um, <laughs> we, we are talking about when you take the law into your own hands. I don't know if you've got a story, 13, 24, 10. This guy in the UK, um, during the pandemic, of course, he in support of the NHS, I mean, West Yorkshire, I think it was, he painted a big boulder blue as a sign of solidarity with all of the people who were working so incredibly hard during that yeah, period. Yeah, right, that's his protest. He's on the corner of a block, though, right. so the whole point of painting the boulder was also to do with the fact that he didn't want people to cut the corner right so and drive yeah and drive onto his property so pandemic's over well depends who you talk to mm-hmm. but he's decided not to get rid of the boulder i'm going to keep it here because i can't seem to police people driving onto my property ruining my pavers because yeah. i'm imagining it's one of those smaller yeah. suburbs in the uk where they Community. Streets don't even really have gutters, yeah, do right. they? They're just nah. like little kit homes. Yes. And yes. Am I making this up? House uh, of you, you know what oh, I yeah. mean. Um, and uh, so he got he was he was getting sick of people driving onto his property, and he thought, well, I'm I'm going to do this. I'm going to leave the boulder there. And he's got now he has all this some um, uh, footage of people driving into the boulder. In, yeah, into, deliberately into the boulder. Well, no, no one's so, going to do it deliberately. So obviously that's dangerous. So trying to move the boulder. Has the has the council come out and said you need to move the boulder? Like is um, in a bit I don't of trouble? think they have. It's not in the story. But let's go with that yeah. because that sounds way more interesting. Well, it's, it's taking the law into well, you know, there's some great. I do in our area. We got the Leichhardt Council, and if you want to get anything done to your place, do it I yourself. Mean, you're talking minimum of two years. Oh, for you know them what to I mean? say, yeah. Well, mm-hmm. yeah. I think there's just sort of certain people that like to justify their jobs at councils. Wow. How dare you? There was a Guy, Have you upset them at some point? There was a guy down the road from us and he was in a building with um, six other people and out the front it was really hard to get everybody's cars in and he said, I'm not waiting for council approval. He just bulldozed the whole lot <sighs> to open it up, which opened up the car park for everyone. They were quite happy. But then some neighbour dobbed him in. There's always those neighbours. The Dibba Dobbers. The Dibba Dobbers. Oh, man. I think my council's a bit the same. You can't fart in your backyard without a neighbour complaining. That's an extreme example. Um, but especially with trees getting removed. Some guy has uh, spent... No, you people in your area poison trees. Someone what? paid $30,000 the other day to get a tree removed and then they had to have the tree reinstated with another tree. Uh, well, that's Give me a break. Oxygen and obviously all that yeah. kind of stuff. I do love a citizen's arrest, Kate. I do love when people take the law into their own hands and say, I'm going to be a policeman for one day. Yeah, who was the guy from... Um Underbelly for 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 Faraz Faraz Durrani. He he um uh, arrested someone himself. He ran down someone else outside of Woolies, I think. It's a good effort. Or Remember? outside his because you know why? Because he grew up um, running a corner shop with his family, and he got sick of people stealing. Uh, so he knew what to do. Tam well, in Kellyville, hello. Hi. Tam, did you take the law into your own hands? I did. I decided that on a night out with the girls, I'd be a police officer. Um, my mate was off her tip and I had to do a citizen's arrest because she's running all about. So you arrested your friend? 
I arrested her. I dropped her to the floor and smacked her back. What was the worst <laughs> thing she did, Tam? Oh, she literally nearly ran onto the road. I saved her life. Oh, my God. Yeah, what a no. mess. Thank God for you, Tam. See, mm. I, I had to stick up for Timmy Boston one day, Kate. He was directing traffic in the middle of Melbourne, and the cops rocked up and said, you're going into the clink. And I went over there and said, look, I'll look after him. We're from interstate. Oh, look, I'll take him out of the hotel. Everything's fine. And he goes, yeah, you know what? You will look after him in the cell uh, with him that night. Oh, no. Sure. I went in there, and there was a guy in there with bipolar who was one minute my best mate. Mate, next minute he wanted to punch my head in. Wow. And I it's look, like Whipper. And I looked right here. <laughs> it was a weird night, wasn't it, mate? <laughs> it's a re- it was was a Mike re- there? God. I, I was in there for public nudity. <laughs> Sam's giving us a call from Cremorne. When did you take the law into your own hands, Sam? G'day, guys. Good morning. Um, a few years ago, we had a, a, a friend's motorcycle stolen um, from his garage in uh, up in the Manly Way. Yeah. And um, about a month after it was taken, we, we noticed a, a disgustingly similar motorcycle actually oh. pop up for sale. Um, so as as any good bunch of blokes do, you sort of pile as many fellas into a couple of cars as you can. And uh, we, we drove out, we sort of organised, we made a fake account and organised to go and pretend to buy this bike. Yeah. Um, so there was two cars full of blokes hiding around the corner while one of our friends went and sort of... <laughs> took it for a test ride and checked that it was actually the bike that was stolen from him and the VINs matched up and bits and bobs. Yeah. Um, said, oh, hey, man, I actually don't have the cash on me. Could you drop me up to the servo and I'll withdraw the cash with you there and then come back and I'll take the bike. Yeah. So he lured the bloke selling the bike out of the house. So the other sort of eight or nine of us sort of, for lack of a better term, <laughs> raided into this house, opened the garage, took the bike and all the bits on the back of the ute. Oh. And then uh, when old mate came back with the cash, it was all of us there with the bike loaded on said, sorry, mate, that's, uh, that's our bike. We're taking it back. Sam, there's a movie in that. There is a movie in that. What would you call it? It's a, um, Sam the bike man. No, took me bike back. Yeah, yeah took me bike. Give me my bike, bike back. <laughs> you took his face into your own hands by the sound of it, you know? Sam, or did you look after him? No, no, he, he was okay. He got off pretty, pretty scot-free. Well, yeah. he was we tried to get the police there, but there was no real interest. So we said, oh, we'll just we'll take it from here, boys. Yeah. It would have been a good the police feeling. Were busy, mate. It was lunch. They were having a couple of donuts. They weren't interested. Oh, oh we're not in America. Hang on a mate. second. Oh, my oh. father was a police yeah. man. He loved Watch the your donut. mouth. He loved the donut. They do a great job. What was his job. rank? Was he Sergeant Ritchie? I'm not having this discussion with you because you're being disrespectful. No, I'm yeah. a huge supporter of the force. Would you, t- would you take the 10 out of 10 or would you be the t- top 2% in the world of intelligence? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Back just, to the hypothetical. I'm still Oh, yeah, okay, an hot girl all the way. Hot right. girl, I knew. Bitsy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. Nova. Have you ever heard of a guy called Ron Shepherd? Ronnie. You're not meant to have. No. Um, he's a father of eight. Uh, he has been married for eight. He's. Uh, I don't know how many years in total, but he has been married eight, eight times. times. Oh, Ron. My right. dad always says, oh, I must love hymns and wedding cake. Oh, that's very funny. And yeah, we laugh a lot after he says that. We laugh for oh, ages. And yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't. We stop. Um, those, is... those jokes in the family. I know when my, when, my, mm. when, my, when I was growing up and we were ever in the car driving around Campbelltown and we could hear the bells or the, you know, things yeah. chiming on mm. a, a Saturday because everyone had Saturday or um, Sunday weddings back then. Yeah. Friday weddings weren't yeah. really a thing. Yeah. Um, and mum, <laughs> we'd be driving along and we'd hear the bells and mum would say, ah. Silly buggers. Oh, someone's going to ruin their life. With dad in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, it was yeah. like it's a fa- funny. bit of a family joke. I do, when I'm sitting at the church sometimes, you know, for a friend or something, I'll do a... Um Good to get the first one out of the way. That's good. Oh, yeah, That's that one. Good. Oh, I love it when people introduce them, uh, yeah. intru- mm. introduce their partner as, this is my first husband. Mm. Yeah, that's always yeah, This good. is my current wife. Yeah, current. Or it's really, it's, really, really It's always stuff. the funny joke as well. That it's the beginning of the end. Oh, yeah. You, know? oh. you get less for murder, mate. Yeah. yeah. Why are um, people so down on marriage? Yeah. This guy loves marriage. He's had eight <laughs> of them. Um, but he has now, he's hung up his boots or his dating boots and he's moved to a care home. So Saying that his love life has worn him out. He's 74, Ron. Uh, it's a love you... life that's burned him, is it? See... Well, that's what. Well, that's what he's saying. He's the he's the UK's most married man. Man. Thirteen, twenty, four, ten. Most marriages. We want to hear from you. Is it your mum or your dad who went on to do this? Um, yeah. Are they engaged to be married again? Like, is there a point even with your parents where you think? 
Come on, Dad. Because oh, you've yeah. been ma- you were married to Mum, What's then you the had the this? next marriage, no, you and don't... now you're engaged to her. Because I've always you wanted... don't need to do this. Which one do you get to where you go? You probably, you know what? I probably don't have to get married. No. Why don't we just have a relationship? It's easier. It the, the paperwork's third... better. Is it the third one? Is it the fourth one? Or is it Singo? Is it his seventh one? You know, John you're Singleton. Right. He's been seven, six, Has or he had seven? seven. What's the point? I don't understand the point in the end. Well, maybe you just love love. You just love, you just love the love that you're having in that very moment. You you just really into that love, and I, then eventually you'll be into the other love. <laughs> but why don't you just have a commitment ceremony or something I get like it. a party just to acknowledge that we're so excited and we love each other? No, that doesn't work because the memory that I have when I was about ten years of age, my pop Stan got married again to a, a lady called Beat oh, Beatrice, yeah. oh. and I just remember the day my pop was just defeated. He didn't want to be there. Beat was just, she was just going from one Peter Stuyvesant to another. She would have knocked off three packets of darts in one day. Good effort. And I think there was a moment where I looked over and I could see my pop looking at Beat going, what have I Oh. What have I actually done? It's Do you know if they got into bed that night? No, well, they didn't last long. Six months. Method. Dad used to joke about it, going, this is not going to last. Six months later, it was all over. And is Pop it... was back by himself again doing the lawn mowing round. Maybe it's about having a party. You can have a party or a barbecue or, a, you know, shindig in your backyard without exchanging vows. Yes. I don't but get it. But if what if one says because I think Beat was the one you know I'd love to marry you Stan like I've you know you and I are meant for each other you, it's hard for you then to go well oh no let's not have a wedding why can't we just you stay know, together I, I I mean I'm a big believer in marriage or I wouldn't be married but I remember going to a a wedding in the country one time with mum and dad it was like a family affair and they got up there. And the, the the bride and the and and the groom, and they were so emotional about the love that they'd found yeah. that I couldn't believe it. I, I I was young at the time, and I remember thinking, "This is what love is about." These two people mm. can't get enough of each other, have committed to each other for life. This is beautiful. Mm. And then Mum leant over and said, "Do you know how they met?" Oh. And I went, "No." Nah. And she said, "Oh, he was a teacher." And she was married to someone else beforehand. I went, oh, you've undone so she... it in one sentence, oh, Mum. Yeah. That's not fair, You've undone though, it in one sentence. Past. Are they still yeah, together, no, but that couple? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> but more to the point, I just thought <laughs> yeah. that just they'd searched their whole... sullying their reputation. Their whole lives had been brought to this one moment where this one yeah, person simplified, on the earth... simplified yeah, by one thing. That's what I thought it was. It doesn't always last like that, though, does it? Doesn't. Uh, and usually, if you've, if you've been married eight times... What's the common denominator in all of that? What's the problem? The girls. You are. Oh, sorry, you are. You are. Why don't we ask someone who has had multiple marriages? Jobby. Jobby. From Condell Park. Hi, Jobby. Hi, how are you going, guys? How ma- Jobby. How Hi, many Jobby. marriages, Jobby? Three marriages to the same girl. Oh, so... Uh, to so- the same girl, Gobby? Yes. Jobby. So did you... um? Did you, Jobby, Jobby, did you get divorced the first two times or just no, no, split no, no, up no. and went so back? My marriage is more like an interreligious marriage. My wife is a Christian. I'm a Hindu. Right. So my parents had a lot of objections. So first we got the court marriage. So we had the legal papers. Right. Then we said, my mother said, no, we need to do our way, our tradition. So we did the Hindu marriage oh, next year. Beautiful. Then... Her parents said, oh, we need to do the Christian way in the church. So we did it the third time. Oh, Jobby, it's expensive. Is that why they call you Jobby? you got bloody three of them on the go. Jobby, Jobby. Oh, I do not. (laughs) So everything's going well, Jobby. Could there be another marriage? So far, so good. 18 years married with two beautiful kids. Oh, beautiful. Oh, well done. I think you need to renew the vows, though, and go for the fourth job. No. Uh, we will do that on our silver. Yes, we will 25? <laughs> one, one, because at the end of three marriages, we literally had three receptions, so we had invited close to 400 people oh, at the end of three no. marriages. Exhausted. See, do you know what? On the jobby. It is a great idea. It's a great idea. You could have multiple marriages to the same person. Why can't you do that? No, waste of time. In different religions, Kate, different... Uh, you can renew the vows like a lot of people do as well. I see Lisa, Lisa Wilkinson and Peter Fitzsimons did that as well. Did they? I'm not into renewing. Why not? It's another party. Oh, it's an excuse for a holiday. Oh, let's go to Hawaii. Oh, renew our vows. 
Nah. What do you get for 10 years, by the way? I've got that coming up. What? Oh, What's yeah. 10 years? Is that like handbag or... Paper? Paper, is it? I'm fine with paper. <laughs> oh, is, isn't it Gucci? I think it could be Gucci. <laughs> I think it's Liao or Wee. Is it? <laughs> Bitsy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. On Nova. This is a horrific story. Poor, a heartbroken mum-to-be has been left in an impossible situation after discovering that her husband cheated on her with her sister. Oh, for f- And now they are both expecting the man's children. Oh, She's no. been a busy boy. How, how long apart? Are you thinking it was the same night? So uh, was I. No, well, I don't know. Like, I, I, I'd, I'd like to, Gee, you great. know, because people do break up. Do you Stuff know what happens. the worst thing as well? I know. Oh, yeah. The worst thing as well, it says here that the sister is pregnant with twins. He's begging for forgiveness to his wife. He's spoiled me with gifts. He's offered to buy me an apartment, a new car, whatever oh, I wanted. Oh, yes, material things. They mm. always fix everything. He said if he if she goes through with the twins, I will have no part of it. I only want to be the father to the child that you mother. I love you. He's my he's, he's made a mess it's of all this. over for him. Well, you God. can't force someone to make a, a decision. Yeah, but one goat, like you know. That. He made a mistake. <laughs> one what? One goat. One goat, one well, greatest that of can, all time. Yeah. It can ruin your reputation if you sleep with one goat. goat. You'll only be known for sleeping with a goat. You yeah. slept with a goat. No, it's an old well, expression. Have you slept with a goat? I've never slept with a goat. <gasps> well, it's a, like it? into it. it's a very touchy but story that Whipper doesn't like to talk about. It was about. a wild night. It what was kind a, of it goat? It was a Nova Where? Christmas party. Remember out in the island? Kate, you're on that one, I think. Yeah. Remember that one? Oh, uh, baby. <laughs> Remember that one? I think you took off early. Yeah, well, I did. I was like, tired. I've got to get up we're, early tomorrow. Yeah, you were um, working. Put me on the didn't, boat and uh, get me out of there. Akmal got kicked off the island that night, didn't he? Really? With the goat? With your goat? Yeah, or with someone the goat else's that goat? I ended up taking home. <laughs> no, Whipper calls himself the goat around Nova, but he's not. Oh, oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Kate, I've never called myself the goat. You Second have called that, yourself the goat, and I think out of everyone in that team, if anyone was going to call this, themselves the goat, yeah. it would be you. Hey, I'm not the one that organised a personal transfer off the island that night. Oh, I had, to, I had a big job to do the next day. Like recover? Like well, you, clean up. You had a water taxi. Akmal, I think, was escorted off by the police. Was he? <laughs> oh, because... Let's not start any rumours. I hate to do that. But you know what? I'm, I'm just saying. Now I'm intrigued about the goat. No, no, you're missing it. If you do, if like, it's an expression to say, say that you make one mistake in your career and you know you'll be remembered for yes. the rest of your life as that, as the goat. So is the so, only mistake you can make with a goat? No, 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 no. The expression is, God, you sleep with one, one goat. Why would you sleep with a goat? <laughs> it's illegal to have sex with any animal. Well, that's exactly oh, I didn't know that's what you were talking about. Unless, yeah. unless it backs onto you, I yes. found out that there is a loophole. If your hand, if it thinks it's about to fall down the cliff and it's like, ooh, oh, oh, like that, oh, oh, hooves, hooves, hooves. Oh my god! I mean, hooves. hooves. <laughs> wow. Oh the, just forget the goat line. You've completely derailed. Yes. You got How stuck old was on the, the goat? Well, it doesn't this, matter. It this wasn't woman a kid. is not having twins that are going to be goats. She's this one guy has got his wife pregnant. He's got his wife's sister pregnant at the same time, and that's what we want to focus on this morning: is multiple personalities. They don't have to be goats. All pregnancies. They, I, we would rather calls on humans. Yeah, about pregnancies, not yeah, personalities. Oh, absolutely. Because we'll be having a lot of meetings. Talia in Cronulla. <laughs> Talia in Cronulla. Oh, we're going down to Cronulla for multiple pregnancies. What's happened, Talia? Uh, yeah, so um, people I used to, I actually worked with, um, he was with one sister and got her pregnant <sighs> and then um, cheated on her with another, the other sister <sighs> and got her pregnant at the same time. Uh, How can one sister? I mean, imagine, Kate, if, if, if you were seeing someone... And yep. then Beck decided to hook up with him as well. My sister. Yeah. yeah. Hey, would you, oh, that would be full on. We, we do like like the same kind of... Oh, no. Well, we have in our past. Who would you be disappointed more with? The guy or with Beck, your sister? Well, like, this is never going to happen. Have you and Beck ever hooked up with the same guy? Absolutely not. She's hated my boyfriends and I've hated her. Okay, so that's consistent. <laughs> that's the only consistency. <laughs> Sophie, welcome to the show. What did you want to tell us? Yeah, so um, this was myself. Um, My partner at the time cheated on me after a few months I was pregnant. So my daughter has a 
half sister, two and a half months younger. Oh, oh my did, God. Did you know who the and woman was, Soph? Yeah, uh, we were actually kind of friends, and we actually all worked in a Woolworths together when we were up in Darwin. Oh, my oh Woolies will do it. Goodness, yep. this is the thing. You've yeah. got to kind of look outside the circle. Where don't is you? this guy now, Soph? Is he involved in your life at all? Uh, no, not really. And the other woman, he's not involved with her life either. He's currently with a third person who has three children and oh I believe gosh. one on the way. Very fertile. Yeah. So, can I ask, and this is a bit personal. Any goats involved? No uh, goats no. involved. <laughs> so, did you get it on? Sorry, um, Soph. At, oh. at the supermarket at all? Like in the cool room? Or? What? Um... Have you before? That's a yes. So, That's a yes. So, so, mate, I think just, if you're going to get it on in the supermarket, just, it's not going to be in the cool room. So, you so, missed her answer. Yeah, yeah, have you before? more in the fire escape stairwell. Oh, oh of course. How oh, silly of me. It's so, much warmer there. It's hot. I busted a couple Darwin. in the cool room. In the cool room at you Franklin's No Frills. Yeah, going for it. He had his pants around his ankles. It wasn't. A, that, I think it might have been Chad Kroger, and that's how that wow. figure you out song started. But. And uh, you needed some frozen peas just yeah, to calm the beast. I was just thinking, this is the worst place in the world to even think about doing it. Do you know what? The stairwell sees a lot more action than I think people think. There's no so much action goes no, on in the stairwell. No atmosphere. I mean, we had a. It's all cold. We have a stairwell you, here. Hey, the fire alarm went off yesterday. Well, you guys weren't here for it. I was the only one. You guys had gone home. Was someone getting it on? No. So I, Whipper and I were not to be seen, but the alarm was going off in the well, fire after escape. Ex- after exposing my crush I had on you in 2008 <laughs> for the Cleo Bachelor. The guys were found in the stairwell. We had to put that fire out, I tell you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. Nova. What's that? Snoop Dogg still follow me. He sure is on you're Twitter. Kidding. So, this... so he still thinks you're Fitzgerald that plays NFL? I don't. I think so. I think he thinks I'm Ryan Fitzpatrick, who's a quarterback. Yo, yo, uh, yo. Yeah. yeah. Snoop, oh, every now and then we'll DM each other. Not on really. Twitter. Just no. what are you up to, Snoop? Congrats on another reward. Mate, the last update you gave us on this relationship was you were too nervous to write to him yes. in case he then clicked on it and realised that you weren't who he thought you were. So Snoop's following 2,791 people in the world and I'm one of them. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I'm not going to question it at all. Has he got fat fingers? I, I, I don't know. But even then, it's the, the odds of him picking me, I just feel so special. It's yeah, crazy. sure. Could it be a fake follow? Remember, I was getting follows from... Um, oh, what's the name of that cricketer? Chris. Chris. You know that... Um, Gale? Is it Gale? Oh, Chris Gale. Yeah. yeah from the West Indies. Yeah, I, was, I got a follow from him. What? Um, I was like, what the hell would that guy be following me for? Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. And then I realised he had a whole lot of followers out there yeah. that were fake or the... I don't even know how it would work. But well, I don't think it's me that he's interested in. Can I just focus on the following that I have from Snoop Dogg? I think... Another huge Hollywood star has seen that and started following me overnight. Awesome. This guy here. Your time is up, my time is now, now. You can't see me. My you can't see me. Wrestler. MDG, get into your booth right now. Back to group, get into your booth. Who's this? Come on, Matty. The greatest. John Cena, baby. John Cena. Uh, is it? Of course it's John Cena. John Cena is following me overnight. What? Now, but this is the thing. I've gone on there. He's following 565,000 people around the world. But that's, I'm still one of them. That's unreal. Yeah. That's so good. It's get, and I don't know... Didn't we have John Cena turn up to your to Huey's school? Yeah, yeah. this was years and years ago. So, and he, he read Ferdinand. Remember this? Yes. Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. One day, five men came in very funny hats. As you can see, the hats are very funny. See, that was amazing. I wonder if he's gone back and watched a YouTube clip and then gone, oh, you know, those guys were really great. I might go see if he's on That's Twitter. what it might have been. He might have gone, let's have a look at great radio interviews I've done. <laughs> Remember the time I had to go to a bloody school in my suit? 
<laughs> I mean, it's WrestleMania Remember week that? in the states, right? Which is huge, and he's he's fighting, which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, and so this is this is it. Like Super Bowl of wrestling is this week. Yes. I reckon he's got enough downtime <laughs> that he's doing a little bit of back catalogue on his interview gear, just seeing what's in. His, he's gone deep on his own Instagram, I'd imagine. And he's fallen yeah. in love with the idea of it. He wants to do more storybook time at schools. Yeah. yeah. I, is he because he's gone back to wrestling? Is that because his acting career is struggling at the moment? It's I don't want to throw this out be there because if this gets back to John, he'll unfollow me. <laughs> I mean, his bicep's bigger than your head, so don't <laughs> don't annoy him. Uh, his his acting career has never quite gone to the level of The Rock, but no, I think they just we... get a massive payday to show up for half an yeah. hour and I know, around. I know you're nervous about the celebrity followers. Yeah. Let's put Snoop Dogg aside. Can you at least send John Cena a message saying, hey, buddy, appreciate the follow. <laughs> Gee, we had a good time at school. You, and include a photo, right? Do you want a D, like a DM? Yeah, DM him. DM. And go, Cena. Okay. Uh, the man. Hey, it's your J- brother Fitz. Hey, Johnny. Shall I, is Johnny too much? Yeah, JC. Go, like, go JC. Yeah, J- JC. Hey, 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 JC. JC. It's Fitz Dog. <laughs> Saw that you followed me. Yeah. Came for a beer question mark. Followed me too long between drinks. Yes, that's really good. Because that sounds Australian as <laughs> yeah, well. Yeah, too long it? between drinks. Yep. Yeah. Congrats. What WrestleMania are they up to at the moment, oh, MDJ? 33, 33,000. Yeah. Congrats. Um, congrats on WrestleMania 33. Does anybody still follow it? What's, Good luck. Hey, um, maybe I'll finish off with... you got to tie in Huey's school. Don't, don't, what, if, what if I do a joke at the end of like, with something like, um, don't unfollow me, you can't see me, or something like that? Yeah, oh, yeah, because the you nah. can't see me is his phrase, right? Yeah. So, you can't um, mate, there needs to be a tie into doing stuff beforehand. Mate, like, it, no, what about if I write, if, oh I, if no. my tweets get too much for you, you can mute me, so then you can't see me. Terrible. Oh, Terrible. Yeah, that's probably not the one. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Should have been an off air workshop. What about just a best friend? <laughs> best friends forever? Don't oh, forget yeah. me. Hey, JC, saw that you. So you followed me yeah, too long between good. drinks. Um, congrats, BFF. congrats, mate. Congrats, mate. This is a disaster. You're, you're, uh, you can um, now see me. There hey, what go. about do us a favour, don't go changing. Don't, yeah, oh, do, uh, congrats, damn. mate. Do us a favour. Don't go changing. Fitz right. Dogger. Love you, buddy. I've, I've sent it. Ooh, what a moment. Um, That's huge, man. <laughs> This Are you oh, feeling all right, mate? I you seem like you're... I feel a bit emotional. <laughs> you're going to question what you sent in a couple of moments. Don't. 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 I, Don't overthink you, um, it. It's gone, you know, hasn't When it? you haven't seen, you, you know, mates for so long. Good mates. <laughs> so, um, I might message Matt Damon now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. Nova. Scatman, let's do it. He's the Scatman. <laughs> Sorry, Matt, I'll just jump in there quickly. It's important mate. we get the, from a branding point of view, we get it right. It's that a, would be a, s- be a stat man. Very messy game if we were going to go down that road. No, it's no a stat, stat man, yeah. So the idea is that I, I present a question, you got to give me the stat, or vice versa. I might give you the stat, you got to give me the question. Yeah. This is the fun, nearest to the pin. Doesn't doesn't matter how What's you a, explain it, yeah. it's still... Stats, it's, it's what's a pin? <laughs> nearest to the pin. So it's like an, it's an old golfing term. So nearest to the pin. Could go higher, could be lower, doesn't matter. Just we, nearest to the hole. Is anyone handicapped? Does anyone... No, we're all starting off. Right, okay. Even. We're on scratch. It's Ambrose. Here we go, guys. MDG, you ready to play along too? Born ready, mate. Can't Thank wait. Thank you. Welcome. What is the median age of Australians? 55. Sorry, mate. 55. Quite easy to work out if you think about it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Why is it quite easy to work out? You've got to, you've got to think of our, Aren't they old? our death rate. Like, what's how old do you we do? die? Oh, That's 45. a big one. That's exactly right. That's <laughs> probably where you start. I'm going to say... Kat, am I locking in 55 for you? No, but what, what's the question again? What's I the jumped average? In because call it I average. Get, yeah, I know what... I know. What's the average age of Australia? 47. You want to go 47? No, 52. I'll say... 55. I just want to be five. 55. I'll say, I'm saying 43. Is it average or median? Because they mm. are different yeah, things they are. without wanting to. I was trying to simplify. Yeah, so what, what are we median. looking for? Okay. Uh, we're going to have to say 60. I was trying to simplify That's for the big 60. idiot here. I never said you're an idiot. I would have used a far different term. A lot more colourful. Ryan, what did you lock in? 43. Nearest to the pin. Tommy, are you playing this or not? No, just, just watching. Just for the fun of it, what do you think? Just listening. I'm 43. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. It's the same as me. The answer is 37.9. Ryan James, nearest oh, to the pin. Excellent. Well done. 
Well are done. We, are we only are we only living are living to our mid seventies? Well, I think the I think for gut for men it's. 78 or 81? That's really sad. Is that right, Tommy? Yeah, yeah, I think 78 and then 81 for females. I thought it would have been minimum 80, no, especially no. with medicine these days. And so true, mate. Science is going to carry us a lot longer. Got a story on t- t- the show tomorrow. I've only Good got tease. 30. Good tease. Good tease, yeah, mate. This time I'm watching to- and learning. This time tomorrow on the show, a story about Google Health and how long we're going to live for. <laughs> This will blow your mind. What are, what are you? What are you having? Your human growth I'm not injections yet. already? Not yet. No. All right, here we go. What percentage of Australians were born overseas? What percentage of Australians were born overseas? Twenty-two percent. I'll say eight percent. Katie went with twenty-two. Twenty-two. Eight percent. Two, two, two. swans. Sorry, two swans swimming. I don't know. Is that what you say? I think so. MDG, what did you want to go with? I'll go uh, in the middle there. Thanks, Mike. I'll go 15%. 15. Exactly. You're wedging yourself in? I was going to say. such an easy yeah. option to yeah. go in between. The answer is quite, quite high. 33%. Oh, oh Kate. Oh, yes. 33. She got it. Nearest yes, she did. Yes, she did. A third of Australia. That's amazing. Yeah, isn't it? Good work. Great job, this multicultural land of ours. We celebrate, don't we? We celebrate diversity. Celebrate, C- as in a C- C-A. C-A. Celebrate? Ce- cel- oh, celebrate. Oh, C-E. We, we celebrate. How do you say that? Celebrate. How, do you, how is it? Let's move on to the next one. Fitzy's got one, Kate's got one. The dividing third stat. Here we go. Thank you. How many beaches do you think there are in Australia? 10,000. Oh, good number. Take your time. Yeah, okay, you're throwing that out you're there. You're saying 10,000 beaches. No. In Australia. And I'm about to call you out. I'll say 5,000. No, yeah, 5,000. Kate's 10. No, actually, I'm going to go 3,000. MDG, you're up. Oh, feels like 10,000 is not enough. Australia's a huge place. I'm going to go 15,000. Australia's For massive. And it's, the entire thing's a beach. But are we calling name? There must be named beaches, you would think. Of course. Think. That's, yeah, of course. So you're at 15 MDG. Yeah. Ryan James locking in three. Yeah. Kate Ritchie locking in 10. 10,685. Oh! Why are you not celebrating? You're the ultimate celebrator. Because I have to admit something. No. Did you know that? Don't tell me you Googled what someone told He's you. He's giving me the answers. Why? Why? He gave me the answer for the beach one. And I said, I'd please, he said, do you want some answers? And I said, please don't give me the answers. And then he shuffled, sco- like scooched over uh, here and said 10,000. You, you rolled your for? chair over to me before. No, I didn't. I said, don't want to cheat show anymore. Show me the sheet. Don't, no, I didn't. And I said, show you the sheet. I'm calling him out said, on it. show me the cheat. Oh, my gosh. Thank Thank you. Can I, I just need to say this because I wanted to say it because I was worried that he's been recording me cheating on these things oh, gotcha. and that he's going to call me out on it. So I'm calling you out first. <laughs> Good call. For, for helping you win. I don't need your oh, help. Oh, you've made a very big mistake. <laughs> oh, we had such a great three hours until this moment and you've just dug yourself a grave. Jeez. <sighs> Oh, um, put the shovel down. That's and really jump in yourself. It's a really, really, really shallow. Yeah, what a wind. way to really finish shallow off the grave. Show. I'm really disappointed in both find of you. you. This is Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie on Nova.